society that we live in a uh, you know competition and playing one child off against another and uh, those kind of things. There and still to create a basis for then people to go to university and then end up being employed by these companies. Um, like that. Thank you, Julie, and then Alex, and I think we're finished on this. Um, well. One of my friends decided to take her children out of school about 15 years ago. She's got four children and I was really shocked about the whole idea um, and thought it was really quite risky and wrong and children should be all together. And, um, but actually I think it was the best thing that she ever did and her children are absolutely amazing and they're really incredibly creative and they've got really inquiring minds and they're amazing and since then I've met other people who've also taken her, their children out of school and they're, they're also amazing and I've come to the conclusion that um, oh, well, I really hope that my grandson doesn't have to go to school and that maybe schools are just wrong places they're just and the institutions they're not right and they all the people I know that sent their children to school back to school for six form so when they got to kind of 16, 17, 18 um, so they did go to school then, um, and that's quite a reoccurring pattern. But, 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 but actually, children shouldn't be in a factory. It's, it's a kind of inhuman thing. And when so you're agreeing with Janos, effectively? Yeah, the but Schools I'm within the community. The, you know, it's, it's a, it takes it a community to bring up a child. And, yeah, and also that it's like these institutions are like they're factories and they're actually being sure. with your family and in networks and communities because actually most people when they home educate they don't just do it on their own, they do yeah, like they sure. share and they collaborate, things like that. And 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 it's part of industrial civilization. Yeah. That that whole thing and we need to de institutionalise and unschool each other and yeah. uneducate each other and go back to like really human relationships. Okay. Uh, just one more from Alex quickly and then we're going to move I on. I guess something during my memory about, you mentioned about robotics and so on. I mean, schools are something which prepare people for the society. When we have a broken society, we have perfectly working school system in the moment. Because it's obviously <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for the robotic things, if we have a basic income, it doesn't matter. Because there are two things, prosperity and you, you can have prosperity without growth. You can, you can have, people should get money doing nothing. The fact that we use robotics and uh, computers and computers are getting faster and you use less people does not mean that you're not creating enough wealth. You're creating the wealth, but because society has a skewed structure and obviously skewed valuation system, the wealth is not distributed. That's why we have to think about the fact that we have a broken structural society. Even if we sit here and discuss what's broken in education and so on, we have to discover the greatest truth. We're not going to be able to implement the rules because we have no power to implement anything. We're just paying some money for that room uh, to make one other corporation slightly richer. We're not doing anything. We're sitting here chewing, chewing them. As soon as we not start working on structures which we have some power to implement based on our common knowledge, then we're not going to achieve anything. Because Thank the moment we, we, we depower ourselves voting for one part or the other. <coughs> We we're going to we're gonna come on to that. Yeah. So thanks, Alice. I'd just like to leave you with two thoughts. One is, um, if you go on to freecriticalthinking.org, there's a gentleman, I, I may have got his name wrong, it's Sugata Mitri, but it's, if you search free critical thinking, there's a search box, self-organized learning environment. Um, and there's an incredible story about teaching children not speaking English, teaching themselves to learn about genetics through a computer terminal, totally unguided. That's one thought. The second thought is, yesterday I posted something under the heading Psychology of Control, and there's a, a video by James Corbett, he runs the Corbett Report, who is one of the most articulate individuals that I've come across on the, on the net. And he talks about, he, he's done this podcast in the vein of one of the ruling elite, and this is a segue into the next bit, giving advice to a recently elected president watch that video, because if you want to know about control, that tells you the story. Where do you find it? Uh, on freecriticalthinking.org, you'll find it. Um, but it, it was yesterday's daily pickings. Um, anyway.
Moving swiftly on to 